And that's right, guys. Notch has been banned from the 10-year anniversary event from Mojang. We know this from an article. We got some info. Stay tuned and let's talk about it. Hey there, guys. Skippy here. Faroom. Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you from the Autocraft Let's Play world that we don't do Let's Plays in anymore because it's over. And yes, there's another look at that. He's there still from the last duplication glitch video. We are talking about Notch. So uh, we have had small conversations about him in the past, and he has come up in the news recently, but he has especially come up in the news recently because he is being actually banned from the 10-year anniversary. So uh, let's go for 391 likes. If you are one of those dudes, don't forget to hit me up below. Guys, Twitter is the spot to get notified of all of these news and articles and information and stuffs. And uh, yeah, you'll find out about it there. Let's keep going. So this was an article in Variety. This is weird because, man, you know what, guys? These gaming articles, it's pretty funny. It's like someone puts out a gaming article and then all of a sudden, if you Google it, it's like bang, eight articles that are almost all exactly the same. But I will link this variety one in the description because it's the one that I'm using, even though there's a several other ones that came out right after it that are pretty much the exact same article. And it came out because a spokesperson from Mojang had to get a comment. So you might remember, you might remember at some point in time, I guess we're going to have to find some food in this joint. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> I don't, I never brought any food. So I guess I got to just walk. So that's the deal. Walk, walk, walk. So you might remember recently they took Notch off of all of the splash screens. So basically in the thing it was like, oh, invented by Notch or fun with Notch or blah, 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 Notch or not, not, not. What the heck is even in here? This has never even been in this room before. What's going on? So basically they removed him from all the splash screens and they removed him from all the different things. Uh, ooh, I got no food though. That's crazy. Come on, just give me some food, Anola. Oh, there we go. Baked potato. So, perfect. Let's just eat some food. So, he got removed from the splash screens, all that stuff, because he says too, he talks too much trash on Twitter. Everybody knows Notch likes to talk trash on Twitter. So, let's go into this article. We'll go over the article because they kind of outline what he said and uh, might look at it a little bit different so we don't have to be like, uh, yeah, I wonder what he said. I'll give you kind of some insight. Like I said to somebody on Twitter already. I'm not as offended as other people. I'm. It's a lot harder to get me offended than some of the, you know, some people in society. But we know Minecraft super PC guys. We know this. You know this. They don't even. We don't want to put sharks in the game because we don't want people to attack sharks. You know what I mean? If you can't have this stuff that Notch is saying going down, I get it. I got it. Let's go in. Here's the article here. So, uh, Minecraft creator excluded from anniversary due to comments and opinions. It says exclusive, but like I said, it's exclusive to like 80 other websites in the first. Five minutes. So, Minecraft creator Notch Person uh, is sold the title to title to Microsoft for 2.5 billion dollars in 2014. <clears throat> he will not be part of the 10-year anniversary plans for the games because of his comments and opinions. Microsoft tells Variety his comments and opinions do not reflect those of Microsoft or Mojang and are not representative of Minecraft. A Minecraft Microsoft spokesperson told Variety. The spokesperson also noted that Pearson hasn't been involved in the game with Minecraft since the studio sold. He sold the studio the game rights in 2014. So uh, not only are they saying he's not involved, but they're saying, "Hey, by the way, he wasn't involved for a long time." You know, if you, if you scroll down his Twitter feed, we don't want you to think that you know we were ever really on board. Uh, person. Uh, once involved member of the gaming development community has increasingly ostracized himself with his Twitter comments, including transphobic statements and comments about a heterosexual pride day and it's okay to be white. Uh, person has about 3.7 million followers on Twitter. An update to the game last month removed the loading screen text. See, they're talking about it too. Minecraft that referenced him. Uh, Microsoft didn't comment about the decision to remove that last month, even though we all know that's why they did it. Because uh, they removed all in one swoop. They removed four different swoops four different loading screens that talked about Notch all at once and only those ones. So we knew that that's what happened for us, you know, people that go over the change log. But speaking with Variety this week, a Microsoft official confirmed that Pearson would not take press in a press event, uh, take not, not take part in a press event at studio at Mojang in Stockholm to celebrate the May 17th. So that's the 10 year anniversary of, of Minecraft. So uh, the event will look at the past, present and exciting future of the decade old franchise, according to the company. 
Minecraft is a seminal video game with more than 91 million monthly players. The building and survival game is the second best selling game of all time behind Tetris. Gosh dang it, Tetris. Minecraft is available on all gaming platforms. So that said, we're going here. So I'm going to give you a few minute conversation about how I feel. So first things first, when you sell a video game, you know, you have to say you probably spent many, many years, you know, coding in a dark room, maybe, you know, you, you're your development skills when it comes to personality, it develops a lot, a lot, what do you do, right? So at the end of the day, if he doesn't really have a reason to, to be or act a certain way, he doesn't have to act, especially now that he sold the game. He doesn't have to get along with people. He can have controversial views. Uh, he can do what he wants. He can say what he wants on Twitter. He can outbid Jay-Z and Beyonce for a multi-million dollar house in Beverly Hills if he wants to, which, what I do say is, I know a lot of people in this world, I guess, a fair amount, and generally, the richer they are, the less they care about what you think about what they say. And I think, for me, someone asked me on Twitter today, was like, hey, Skippy, what do you think about this? And my response was literally like, hey, you know what? I'm not as offended as other people. I don't, I, you know, if... I, I understand what he's saying where he says, uh, oh, why can't there be, you know, why don't be afraid. I, I don't I don't not disagree. I don't agree with it either. You're not going to see me talking about that on my channel because this is Minecraft, right? We're, we're not here talking about about parades and about don't be this. We don't talk. Honestly, I think that even based on the fact on how Minecraft operates, that they maybe spend too much time fighting it where they should just pretend it's nothing because that's what I'm saying is in my channel. It, whether I agree or disagree with what Notch says, whether it's it doesn't have a place here in Minecraft, guys. We're making we're making diamond blocks and building houses. There is no there is no politics in Minecraft. If you want to talk politics, you should do that, and that's why that's why it's okay for Notch. He doesn't care. Do you think Notch right now, guys? Do you think Notch is sitting there? Oh no, oh no! They removed my name from the splash screen. It doesn't say created by Notch anymore. How can I live with myself? Do you think he's like reading articles today? Like, guys, he literally, as soon as they stripped his name off the splash screen, he literally put out on Twitter. He's like, "This is the worst year ever for Minecraft." He didn't. He doesn't care. He doesn't even care one little bit. So that said, I don't know, does, should he care? I think no matter what happens for eternity, guys, we were duplicating here, my last duplication glitch video. So that's why that's why that stuff's there. But long story short is he doesn't care. He doesn't care if he's involved or not. Believe me, people will know forever that Notch invented Minecraft. He took his 2.5 billion, which from what I understand, because guys, when you're developing a game, you don't own the whole game by the time you're done. You give a lot to the people that help and the people that come in on the ground floor start taking percentage here and there you start having investors invest in the game and they take percentages but from what I understand guys of that 2.5 billion dollars notch took 1.6 billion dollars of that which is you know enough money for him to sit on his Beverly Hills house and tweet borderline stuff for the rest of his life and he'll never run out of money he will be able to do it forever he has 3.7 or 3.6 or 3. Point whatever million followers on Twitter is it what I would do? Is it what I said? You know, it's not, it isn't my first choice. I wouldn't, like I said, I don't involve politics and video games, guys. They don't have anything to do with each other. That's the kind of thing, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, I always, I don't know, you know, you're a younger guy. I grew up in a more social environment. I managed nightclubs and restaurants for a, a fair amount of time. So that kind of gave me, you know, the ability to read social situations, the ability to understand where you talk about certain things, when you talk about certain things, and you know, and sometimes your opinion doesn't matter. I, I mean, in the big picture, when when I was younger, I always learned religion and politics are two things that are just opinion, and that's the and that's the argument is why why you shouldn't talk about religion and politics. I still do in my private life, at my dinner table, with my friends, with my family, but not in a public environment. I don't have to, I don't answer to somebody, you know, I work, to, I work for myself, but if I go out and say some borderline stuff like that, people are gonna be like, oh, I don't wanna watch Minecraft videos from this guy in the same way that I, I don't really, really want to, people don't want Minecraft associated with Notch, right? So I understand what they're doing. I get it, I got it for me. Like I said, politics and religion, I've always been brought up that there is no fact on politics and religion. In politics and religion, the person that you're talking to, you know, he's not really coming to you with facts. No matter what, if you're, say you're a politician and you're like, you know, conservative versus liberal or 
both of you are just fighting for your belief. And there, no matter how many facts or Google searches you make, you're not gonna convince the other person different. And it's the same thing with religion. There is no proof, right? You don't, there's no, there's no like pictures of who's right with what religion's right. There's nothing. It's all about a belief system. And when you fight with people over a belief system, over what's inherently right and or wrong, you're always gonna argue. And Minecraft guys is not for arguing, it's for building and having fun. So there you go, guys. I hope you got all the information that you needed from this one and uh, yeah i hope you like my ramble i rambled just a little bit not too much and enjoy it guys let me know what you think in the comments chime down below and uh, if anything comes up i'll let you know thanks a lot for tuning in guys and i'll catch you on the next one